to your health. Of course, in our quest for a healthier lifestyle, many of us have turned to artificial sweeteners as a guilt-free alternative to sugar. Yeah, but are they really all that much better for us? Recent research is shedding light on the potential dangers of these sugar stand-ins. Oh, can... Artificial sweeteners exploded in the 1980s. I've just been baked with an amazing sweetener with one eighth the calories of sugar. And now 13 are approved by the FDA. But are these zero calorie, sugar free, fat free choices safe? The World Health Organization says that aspartame is a possible carcinogen. Dr. Shepard also says it would take more than 20 diet sodas a day to have an impact. However, we may be consuming more than we know. You're allowed to put it in food, and you also don't have to actually indicate the total amounts that you're putting in the food. Dr. Stanley Hazen is part of a new study in the journal Nature Medicine detailing the risks of the sugar substitute erythritol. We show that erythritol provokes heightened clotting risk, things like heart attack and stroke. When healthy volunteers drank a soda with erythritol for four consecutive days, their plasma and blood levels went up over a thousand fold. So where do you find erythritol? It's really popular in keto diets. You reach for that keto ice cream. That pint of keto ice cream can have literally 30 to 50 grams of erythritol in it. And after you eat that for the next two days or more, you'll be at at least double the risk for a heart attack or stroke. Erythritol has been granted a status called grass by the FDA. What that means is it really didn't have to have a lot of safety studies. Frankly, I would argue that erythritol is more dangerous than drugs that we, we take. The American Heart Association recommends that people limit their intake of artificial sweeteners, and Dr. Hazen is calling for more studies and a change in regulation. Now, previous studies have linked aspartame to an increased risk of cancer, while erythritol has been shown to cause digestive issues in some people. So if you do want to still sweeten something, uh, some experts say that you should just stick with a little bit of sugar or honey can also be a good sweetener as well. See, I love sugar. You know I love sweets. And the thing is, those artificial sweeteners, they've just never... I don't know. It's not, they don't have the same it. taste. It's not the same, yeah, and a lot of dietitians will say, you know, like if you can eat in moderation, you can still have all of those things. You know, like I mean, some people even say you can drink whole milk. And for so many years, we've been saying, you know, cut right. out the fat right. of milk. But if you're doing everything in moderation, it's There's still a lot good more for you. room to run. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you're doing it like that, that's great, Haley. Uh, you